Kungam Sana Balhenge. Welcome back to my daily Tezo update. Uh, without further ado, let's just begin our daily parliament session highlight. Uh, the third day of the 17th Tibetan Parliament in Exile's uh, fifth session uh, began at 9.30 this morning with the continuation of the debate on the uh, statement of Sikong Pemsinla, uh, the incumbent uh, Kanu of the Department of Finance, um, and the precise 2023-2024's budget report by Budget Estimate Committee, that's Ngunji Soba Sokchung, from the previous sitting. Um, Honorable Sikyong, as uh, the finance scholar, provided uh, clarifications to the queries raised in the Parliament House uh, in regards to uh, the new fiscal year's official budget. Um, the uh, questions and the concerns were around uh, means of decision making upon budget allocation, uh, doubts on uh, report presentation and financial data inclusion, uh, and on various projects like the housing projects for the newly arrived Tibetans in settlements, um, foreign currency conversion issue for the Green Books contribution, uh, infrastructural development in certain Shija, uh, small businesses loans projects and um, uh, many other matters. Uh, the chairperson and a member of the Budget Estimate Committee uh, provided uh, the required clarifications to questions uh, directed to the committee. Um, then, as per the revised list of business, uh, the session proceeded on to a uh, continuation of uh, discussion and approval on the proposed budget of uh, various departments and offices under uh, Central Tibet Administration for the fiscal year of 2023 to 2024. Um, Beginning from the definite budget, that's Nijendondu, which are basically the salaries and benefits of honorable speakers and the Tibetan Supreme Justice Commissioners. Uh, then uh, the recurring budget, that's Gundundu and the supplementary budget, that's Sugyo Katu of the Parliamentary Secretariat, uh, then the recurring budget and special recurring uh, budget of uh, the Northern Local Tibetan Justice Commission uh, and same for the Southern uh, Tibetan Justice Commission. Um, uh, furthermore, we had budget for the recurring budget of the Ladakh, Ladakh Tibetan Local Justice Commission and the recurring budget of the Mobile Tibetan Justice Commission. Uh, by the way, queries on mention of only the salaries and lack of project under him was raised uh, during the debate. Um, thereafter, recurring budgets and special recurring budgets of the 37 local Tibetan assemblies were uh, also approved. Um, so as per the revised list of business, uh, there were questions raised during the undertaking of Kasha Secretariat, like uh, past decisions taken by uh, Kasha, uh, doubts on statements made by Honorable Sikyong during his public tours, um, questions on ethics of a particular staff appointed under Kasha, and um, several other matters which were dully answered by Honorable Sikyong. Um, yeah, uh, the recurring budget of the Kasha Secretariat uh, actually remains open for discussion. Uh, so the session pretty much adjourned at 5 p.m. until 9.30 tomorrow morning. So yeah, thank you very much.